Hello, Veto121 here. Welcome back. And we are let's playing Yangus and the Gov Dragon Quest 8. And welcome back, everybody. I hope you're enjoying this LP so far because I'm definitely enjoying making it. And, ooh, it's a huge mountain shaped like a ship. Alright. Very nice. Let's talk to this guy. Rock salt, huh? Hmm, okay. Interesting. Yeah, I think there's an enemy uh, that actually drops rock salt. But yeah, let's check out the hilltop hut here. Uh, the hilltop hut is now added to the zoom list. So we can actually zoom here now. So that's very nice. And no, I don't want to stay overnight just yet. Uh, oh. Well, there's nothing to find. Oh, there's a pot here. Alright, we get a mini metal. Very nice. Alright, yeah, let's definitely rest. Uh, we're going to be doing some alchemy in this episode, going back to pick them. Uh, there's some side quests that I was not aware of uh, that's going to happen because the alchemy pot uh, is going to get bigger. And yeah, King Trode is actively working on our alchemy pot. And yeah, he starts he starts working on your alchemy pot uh, after you talk to Brains. So you need to sleep at the inn, I think, two or three times uh, to get it going again or whatever so yeah let's just go ahead and rest again yeah let's go ahead and stay overnight all right hmm gave us the old winky wink I think that means that he's actually done with it so yeah let's take a look at it now all right. Bong! Perfect timing, Vet. While you've been asleep at night, I've been burning the midnight oil again to improve the alchemy pot. Look! Made a breakthrough. You're no longer restricted to two ingredients. You can use up to three at a time now. All right. So yeah, we can make even better items in the alchemy pot now. And uh, hell yeah. Very nice. So yeah, we can, we have more recipe options, and we can pretty much get a lot better stuff. And uh, what I want to do now is I actually want to go to pick them. And uh, well, there's a few, there's a few things we can do there now. Uh, yeah, where's my zoom spell? Here we go. Yeah, I was not aware of this stuff at the end of the last episode. I just found out that yeah the alchemy pot does grow after you talk to brains all you have to do is sleep at the end a few times and the alchemy pot grows so all right what do we want to do here yeah we want to go see dodgy dave and where's dodgy dave we got to find that bar again or whatever uh and I don't think, yeah, I don't think the bar's over here. Where the hell am I going? Jeez. Screw this up. Already. What the hell's wrong with me? Yeah, we want to go over here. And go in this bar right here. After the game lags. So yeah, let's talk to you, man. Oh, you want to go around back? I got some business to do, eh? Or, got some business to do, eh? <laughs> the poor grammar that the characters say in this game even screws me up when I'm reading it. It's like, jeez. But, alright, let's talk to uh, Dodgy Dave. Yes, we got our horse and cart back. Yes, we do. We have an improved one. Okay, so, uh, yeah, this guy wants rare stuff, basically, and he'll actually, uh, give us gold for some rare stuff, and we can, well, not, not just gold, he can also give us, uh, items and stuff like that, so, uh, yeah, the first item he wants is a special medicine, 
and to make a special medicine what you need to do is uh, I'll just show you easy enough just to show you yeah, what you want to do is you want to put a strong medicine and a strong medicine in the alchemy pot and then I'm gonna go ahead and let this stew for a little bit and it should make a special medicine so I will be right back alright and the moment of truth alright we get a special medicine very easy to make all you need is two strong medicines and you'll get that so yeah let's go ahead and talk to dodgy Dave again Yeah, and it's definitely worth it. You get 500 gold coins. Hell yeah. That definitely helps. Okay, he wants us to make a reinforced boomerang. And, uh, hold on a second. I need to check. Yeah, I need to check how to make that. Alright, to make a reinforced boomerang, you need to put a boomerang in the alchemy pot along with an iron nail. I got a few of those from enemy drops, which is kind of nice, so... Yeah, this is how you make the reinforced boomerang, so I'm going to go ahead and let this cook, and be right back. Alright, the moment of truth, and we get a reinforced boomerang, yay, our alchemy skills are improving. I will never ever use boomerangs, I don't like them. But, Dodgy Dave likes them, so, there you go, and he's going to give us 1200 gold coins for this reinforced boomerang. Hell yeah! I want gold! Dr. Evil, can we pay this Johnson gold? And yes, we trade a ring of immunity to this guy. He will give us a bandit axe, which, well, probably won't be useful in my opinion because I will be able to get a better axe by then. But, uh,. The Ring of Immunity, well, yeah, I, I, I guess they're not too hard to make, so we can definitely afford to trade in a Ring of Immunity to get a Bandit Axe. Bandit Axe will be useful, of course. But yeah, that's all we can do with that guy right now, and hold on a second. Alright, we are about to make something else here, and uh, yeah, let's check out Yangus here. Alright, now I bought, you can buy this Iron Curace in uh, Escanta actually, and as you can see it's plus 5 to defense, so it definitely is better than the uh, chainmail I have on him. However, I can make something even better with the Iron Curace. Is it Curace or Curass? I don't fucking know, but anyways, we want to take this Iron Curass and two silver platters and throw it in the alchemy pot now that it's expanded. We can actually make this, so there you go, and I will wait for this to cook, and be right back. Alright, after walking around for a little bit and letting that cook, let's see how much better the silver, whatever it is here, the silver curase is, as opposed to the iron curase. And yes, uh, yeah, whatever, get out of there. Alright. Now let's go ahead and give this to Yangus, and instead of a plus 5, he gets a plus, like, 25 or 24 or whatever that is. So yeah, that is freaking excellent. Hell yeah. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't, let me just throw this in the alchemy pot now because I don't need it anymore. And I think there's a few other things we can make. Alright, uh, there's one more thing, well... There's another thing I want to make here. I don't know if it's the only thing I want to make right now. But I want to make a pretty nice staff for Jessica. So yeah, I purchased a rune staff in the Pick'em Casino with my tokens there. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this in the alchemy pot with a wizard staff. And uh, let's see what we can actually get for this. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cook and be right back. Alright, moment of truth. And what did we make? Alright, we get a Staff of Anti-Magic. Now, when this staff is used as an item in battle, it will cast the Fizzle spell. And what the Fizzle spell does is, uh... Well, it's, it basically silences the enemy from, uh... Well, well for about 7 to 10 turns. Uh, surprisingly, it's better attack power than my Whip, although my Whip is still better because of the skills I have. But yeah, I'm going to give this uh, to Jessica, that way she can cast Fizzle. 
And she can also cast uh, the buff spell here with the rune staff. So yeah, that should be extremely nice. And hold on a second. Alright, we're back in the hilltop hut area. And yeah, there's nothing I want to make in alchemy right now. Anything more I want to make right now. So let's just uh, explore the area a little bit. Might be able to find some treasure. Might run into some new enemies. And we have muddy hands. I'm gonna clean sweep X the evil, swoosh these guys, and whip the hell out of them. Goodbye, muddy hands. Yeah, I can't remember if I encountered those guys before or not, but, you know. A lot of the enemies in this game are palette swaps, so it's kind of hard to remember. Hmm. It's kind of a canyon type area around here. Alright, we have a new enemy, a mud mannequin. Yeah, I'm just gonna helm split those bastards. A little swoosh. And yeah, Twin Dragon Lash, I guess. Five Muddy Hands. Five Mud Mannequin. Oh, they don't drop that much experience around here, that's for sure. Yeah, I think there's a few chests we can find, but yeah, I'm not really sure. I can't remember. That's the whole point of exploring. That's the fun part of this game. Finding stuff. Alright, we have another new enemy here. Rock bombs. These guys can actually drop rock salt. Uh, they can explode too, I believe, if uh, you piss them off enough. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. And they have pretty high defense too, apparently. Forgot about that. Huh. <laughs> Assessing the situation. Uh, you're dead. How's that? And if we're lucky, we can get rock salt from these guys. Although, yeah, the drop rates in this game aren't that great. I mean, they're better than probably other Dragon Quest games, but it's still pretty rare. And, damn it, we don't have a key to unlock that. Oh, well, I guess we can't do anything with that right now. Well, eventually we will get a magic key, not an ultimate key, a magic key. That way we'll be able to... Uh, that's what I'm looking for here. We'll be able to uh, unlock some better chests and stuff. So yeah, that'll help. Wait a minute. Ah, crap. You know what? Screw it. One, two, three, twin dragon lash. Whatever. Yeah, we should be able to take all these drag mages easily enough here. They're pretty old enemies. And, yeah, it's grinning mal maliciously. That means he probably wants to explode. But I'm not going to let him. Yeah. I don't get that much experience for that battle. Is there anything over here? Anything? Anything? Nothing. Okay, then. Okay, we have more new enemies here. We have, uh, well, whatever. They're pink pongos. Yeah, swoosh, and yeah, these guys should go down fairly easily here. I would imagine. Shouldn't be too tough. Oh, they're pretty susceptible to wind spells. Actually, the evil is probably going to take them out. 
And that is all for this episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest VIII. In the next episode, we will continue to explore this canyon area. This is Vettel121. See you next time.